yes hi all welcome to shivagana aptitude classes one of the best place to learn the aptitude to practice the aptitude to clear your placements uh, examinations in the written test in the topic of aptitude now in this video i'm going to explain the numerical competitions questions which are asked in the goldman sachs 2021 and this is the part 4 of this uh, entire numerical competitions questions i already uploaded three sessions on this numerical competitions this is the fourth session the main objective of these videos is this is the paper explanation type of uh, videos so this paper explanation is in is in which way it is useful means you the candidates will get a clear idea of preparation what kind of topics you have to prepare more and more what kind of topics you should practice a more number of questions such kind of preparation plan will definitely helpful in clearing in upcoming written test and one more thing is sometimes the straight questions or direct questions the similar questions are also asked there is a chance of that also so let us start the original questions of the goldman sachs for the construction of an auditorium the college management has approached a certain number of students for the donation okay fourth of the students approached by the management obliged to donate 1000 on average this fulfill the 70% of the total requirement to fulfill the remaining which means 30% again management approached the same number of students as earlier of which only fifth obliged and donated okay this fulfilled the balance okay balance is fulfilled from the okay fine and on average what is the average amount donated by the second set of students okay so let us say 4x number of students that uh, let us say 4x number of students that the management has been approached in that how many are ready to donate 1/4 that is x number of students each student on an average donated 1000 therefore a total collection is 4000x This four thousand x is nothing but seventy percent of the total. Now the remaining balance that we need to collect is thirty percent. Therefore, seventy percent is four thousand. Seventy percent is thousand x. Then thirty percent is how much? Thirty thousand into three thousand x divided by seven. This is the remaining amount to fulfill the auditorium. Now again, management approached the same number of students, same number of students. Now in this, now this this time, fifth of the students, which means four x by five students, are ready to donate. How much they are donated? Let us say on an average of y rupees. This is the total collection. This total collection fills the remaining balance. What is the remaining balance? Three thousand x divided by seven. Now, upon cancellation, we will definitely get the second average amount by each student. That is, y is equal to three thousand into five divided by four into seven. This is four seven fifties, which is nothing but three seven five zero. By seven, that is nothing but five thirty six rupees on screen calculator. I just calculated seven fifty into five three seven five zero three seven five zero by seven approximately five thirty six rupees. This is the average amount donated by the second set of students. That is nothing but y. Good quality question. Very very good quality question. Next question. In a right angle triangle. Okay, the question from mensuration. In a right angle triangle, the sum of the two sides is twelve, and the longest side is ten centimeters. So, if one side is a, another side is twelve minus a, another side is twelve minus a. Longest side is ten. Okay, maximum area. Area of the right angle triangle is half into base into height. That is half into twelve a minus a square. so this is the area of the okay this is the area of the right angle triangle from the given information okay if i if we apply the pythagoras theorem right side square plus side square side square plus side square is equal to 
10 square that is hypotenuse square a square plus 144 plus a square minus 24a is equal to 1000 just to cancel it by 2 2 a square a that is 12 a so a 100 minus 72 it's 22 therefore 12 a minus a square 12 a minus a square will be 22 this we put here if we put half into 12 a minus a square is nothing but 22 we will get the maximum a possible area is 11 beautiful question designed from the topic of mensuration next question the given number is 2 cube into 5 power 3 how many sets of two distinct factors of n are co-prime to each other two distinct factors of n which are should be co-prime to each other right for this number if you find the two factors let us say for this number if 2 comma 5 are the factors these two must be what co-prime yeah co-prime this is one of the set in our count like this how many are possible for these type of questions i have a beautiful shortcut that a plus b plus 2ab this is what i derived from the mathematical orientation right so a plus b plus 2ab if you apply this one this is a is 3 b is 3 3 plus 3 into 2 into 3 into 3 so 6 plus 2 into 3 3 is 9 9 2 is 18 plus 6 is 24 right so this is just a matter of less than one minute question if you know this one the number of distinct factors of n are co-prime to each other which is nothing but a plus b plus 2ab right now this i was the derivation of this one i explained in my video course of a prime factorization and prime number if you want you can contact this but a very important question my dear viewers the number of distinct factors of n are co-prime to each other one of the premier questions nowadays in placements from the topic of number system this is 24 answer is 24 next question if the digits of a five digit number in the base base n are increased by one the decimal value of the number is increased by 16105 okay fine 16105 is increased by okay what is the sum of the digits of n so we have to find the base and that base sum of the digits if the base is 12 sum of the digits is 1 plus 2 3 so we have to find the base it's a five digit number let us say x y oh, x y z a b c d better a b c d e it's a five digit number and its base is n right he has mentioned that the decimal number first of all i am going to convert this number into decimal part right the conversion of a base into decimal you know the process so a into power 0 power 1 power 2 power 3 power 4 that is n power 4 plus b into n cube c into n square plus d into n power 1 plus e this is the decimal number decimal number now what is given uh, digit of the five digit number is increased by one now second number new number new number in which way each digit is increased by one so a becomes a plus 1 its decimal is a plus 1 power n power 4 new digit b plus 1 its decimal new digit c plus 1 n square new digit d plus 1 increased by 1 plus e plus 1 new digits are a plus 1 b plus 1 c plus 1 d plus 1 e plus 1 right base is n now it's a decimal now he has clearly given that uh, this difference is how much increased by how much 16105 
which means the difference of this first equation and second equation which are decimal numbers their difference is 16105 if you subtract of equation 1 and equation 2 we are going to get the difference is 16105 which is nothing but n power 4 plus n cube plus n square plus n power 1 plus 1 this is by looking this number i have a beautiful triangle which is nothing but pascal triangle that comes in my mind what was that pascal triangle is 1 1 1 2 1 1331 like this nothing but 11 power 0 11 power 1 11 power 1, 11 square, 11 cube, 11 power 4, like this. If we add uh, 11 power 4, 1, 4, 0, 4, 1, 4, 6, 1, 4, 6, 1, 4, 6, 4, 1, this is n power 4. Now n cube is 1, 3, 3, 1, which is nothing but n cube n square is 11 square 121 n power 1 11 power 1 and 1 if we add you will get 16105 we got 16105 we got 16105 therefore the base n is how much 11 sum of the digits of n is 1 plus 1 that is 2 answer is over right only thing is after from from here onwards you have to get the idea which is nothing but a pascal triangle eleven power zero plus eleven power one eleven square good quality question definitely a good quality question from the number system base system converting one base into other octal to hexadecimal hexadecimal to decimal such kind of right good quality question Arun gets a loss of rupees 50 when he sold his watch at a discount of 20% on the market price. Okay, that's cool. He got a loss on the market price. Discount of 20%. If discount is 20%, selling price is 80% of the market price. And let us say cost price is C. He got 50 rupees loss. So C minus 50 is the selling price. This is selling price. This is also selling price we can equate where m is the market price c is the cost price 20 percent is a discount so 80 percent of the market price is selling price so this is let us say first equation what is the next equation find the cost of the watch when the percentage of markup above the cost price is equal to the percentage of discount on the market price simply what he is told is the markup is equal to what cost price plus 20 percent of cost price whatever the discount that he has been given the, sh the cost price is went up by the same percentage the cost price is went up by the same percentage which means cost price c plus how much he is increased 20 percent of the cost price so markup is equal to market price is 1.2 c if we substitute over here 1.2 c into 80 divided by 100 which is c minus 50 12 nines are 12 eights are 96 96 divided by 100 c is equal to c minus 50 from this what we are going to get 50 is equal to 0 0.04 c therefore c is equal to 50 into 100 whole divided by 4 4 25 so 25 5 so 2500 by 2 that is 1250 that is the cost price easy question has been asked from the topic of profit and loss there is a definite question in almost any placement from the topic of profit loss discount this entire topic i explained at a length in my video course we can contact this number for that complete video course Next question. 
right? It's just an algebraic identities. First equation is x plus 3y minus 2z by 4 is equal to 6. Let us say equation 1. So x plus 2 by 3 into 2y plus 3z equal to 33. Let us say this is equation 2. 1 by 7 into x plus y plus z e x plus y plus z plus 2z equal to 9. This is equation 3. Right? For your convenience purpose, I am writing these equations which was given in the data. Right? Please don't waste this type of time in your ex examination. During the examination, right? For the viewers understanding purpose, I am writing this. Now we need 46x plus 131y. Ultimately, you have to eliminate the third variable z. Okay. From equations 1 and 2, I, I just want to eliminate z. How can I eliminate z? Okay. How can I eliminate z? Okay. This is 2, 3, 6. 2, 2, 4z we are going to get. Okay. 4z. Okay, there. Okay. First of all, I am going to do this. I am multiplying equation 1 by 2. If you multiply equation 1 by 2, you will get 2x plus 6y minus z is equal to 12. Let us say this is equation 4. Now, I am going to multiply equation 2 by 3. If you multiply equation 2 by 3, we are going to get 3x plus 4y plus 6z is equal to how much? 99. 99. Let us say this is equation 99. This is equation 5. Let us see. Okay. Here 6z is there. So this I am multiplying with uh, here z is there. I am multiplying with 6. If we multiply this equation by 6, 6 to 12, 12x plus 36y minus 6z is equal to 72. If we saw, if we add these two gets cancelled, 15x plus 40y is equal to 171. Let us say equation star. Right, we got one equation in terms of x and y. If we solve equation 2 and 3, again we are going, we have to eliminate z. If we eliminate z, so this is divided by 7, multiply by 7. Equation 3, I am multiplying with 7. So that I am going to get x plus y plus z plus 2z. That is 7, 2z, 14 plus 1, 15z. 15z is equal to 7, 9z, 63. This is 63, we got 63. Here 15z, here z. So equation 4, again I am multiplying with... 15, 15 twos are 30x, this is 90y minus 15z is equal to 180. If we add what we are going to get, this is gets cancelled, which is 31x plus 91y is equal to 180 plus 63, which is 243. Let us say equation star star. Equation star and equation star star. If we add 31x plus 15x, that is 46x plus 91y, 40y, which is 131y. So 131. Straight away we got nothing but 171 plus 243. 171 plus 243. This is 4, 7 plus 4, 11, 1, 2, 4, 1, 4. That's the straight away we got this one, right? That's the end of my part to four of the Goldman Sachs company actual questions which are asked in the topic of numerical computations. In the next video, I'm going to explain the numerical reasoning questions which are asked in the Goldman Sachs in the next part, right? Till then, I'm signing off. Please subscribe my channel and share it to your students in your groups. Thank you one and all. Prepare well, practice more. Just crack the placements. Thank you one and all.